Meantime, there's also a new social media campaign out this week trying to convince younger Hoosiers to register to vote. It's from the Indiana Citizen. I spoke with their co-founder about their efforts to increase voter turnout. I'm not sure what to predict for uh, this November. I mean, anecdotally, you know, we talk to people, ah, I don't like either one of them, uh, meaning the presidential candidates. And, and you're worried that may mean they don't vote at all in some cases. It, well, exactly. In fact, I had a, you know, conversation just a few hours ago with somebody in that category, and I, and I begged her, okay? Vote. I mean, we got a Senate race, we got a governor's race, we got an attorney general's race, and you know all these state races. And of course, as you go down the ballot, right, your your individual vote has you know a, a bigger impact. But you know, there's there there's some who don't vote because they're trying to send a message. I'll show them. I'll show them my disgust with the system by staying home. That's exactly what they want you to do. If you're pissed off at the at politicians, go vote, right? Because they really don't want you showing up unless they know in advance how you're going to vote. And so if, you're, if you are angry at these people and want to send a message, send it through the ballot box. Okay, stick around. We're back with this week's winners and losers next.